Alright, welcome back to the channel. Today we got an exciting video for you. If you like knives. Okay, so as you can see here, this is my rendition of the Baldrick style rig. Um, nothing too fancy, pretty simple, pretty simple to set up. Um, this is something that I just came up with and I think it's kind of neat so I thought I'd share it. There's a lot more custom ones which I might be doing with this in the near future but I was literally going through all my gear in the basement and I just threw this stuff together and I thought it was kind of cool so I thought I'd share it with you. So here we have the beautiful ugly brothers, <laughs> beautiful ugly brothers the from verustalika.com and we have the Triva or Trava Scrama, which everybody knows that's seen my videos that I'm absolutely in love with. Uh, this here has replaced pretty much every large chopper I have and then even my smaller hatchets. Um, I personally think this is a great knife. Um, there's a lot of hype on the internet. I know Chris from Prepared Mind 101 doesn't like it. Um, you know, to each his own. I'm not going to hate on anybody because they don't like what I like. Uh, everybody has their own opinions on stuff. I'm sure some of you like Brussels sprouts. I hate Brussels sprouts. But, like they said, um, with the handle is one of the main reasons they didn't like it with that finger groove. But with me, I wear extra large glove size hands and see, I, I just don't... I don't get the fatigue that some do. Then again, I don't use this for my real fine crafts. I always have other knives. I mainly use, I might do some small stuff, and with that, it really doesn't bother me too much. I can choke up on it and get my one finger, and if I really wanted to get close, I mean, you could split that, and I have big hands. You could split that to do some real finer stuff, but like I said, I always have a different knife, which brings me back to the Baldrick style. I have this all encapsulated in an old crappy nylon sheath that I was going to throw away, but like I said, I was going through stuff, started shoving it together, and I was like, hey, you know what, that looks like this might work for something. And it was from one of the Becker, it was either the BK7 or BK9 uh, that came with it, and you know, I'm not, nothing against Becker knives, they, they are reputable and they are, you know, beast of blades, but they're just not my style. Um, but I do still have one of their nylon sheaths, so I actually took the plastic insert from the Scrama and placed it inside the main slide there, and then on these sheaths, it does have a, another little a pouch that some other BK series knives could fit in, and in there, I actually just inserted um, the traditional leather sheath from the Puko. This is the Puko 110 from Verustalika, the Triva. Rustalika. Um, but this thing by far is probably one of the if not the best knife for the money a lot of people have said that I did another video on well, I've done videos on both these feel free to check them out I'll link them in, uh, below if you haven't already but this thing best bang for the bunk, buck um, top three best knives you know under a hundred dollars um, that's what I that's how I feel about it. This is just an awesome awesome blade So I always have that usually with this guy if it's not on my belt and Like I said that just slips down the front. I mean You know the rattle is probably these things it's super tight in there I don't have any epoxy any glue I just literally wedged everything in there because I knew it wasn't going to be a permanent solution, but it works for now until I make some sort of Kydex or if I even want to continue having it this way. Um, but then on the back of this particular sheath, it's got a whole bunch of molly on it. So I have the Leatherman and this one is on the back. So I mean you really can cover everything just right here. A lot of times I'll just throw this in my truck just because if I have spur of the moment camping, anything like that, bam, bam. So on the back here, with another pouch is a Leatherman. This one's the OHD. So that's always nice to have. I did videos on all these. This one, it's too big and bulky for me to carry. You know, EDC, I usually have it in either some sort of kit or my backpack or my truck or something like that. But 
I thought it was a good fit for this. And then that all just goes in the back there. So, this is my take on a Varusta Lika with a Leatherman Baldrick style carry. I do have two carabiners here, so you could actually legitimately carry it that way. I normally just clip this and this to the top and the bottom of my pack. I brought my Hidden Woodsman Haversack, and instead of using the sleeve, I just have this clipped up on top and clipped on bottom behind there. That works out great. I'll bring it in just a little bit closer here. You can see, nothing too extreme, nothing too fancy, just doing what I can with what I have. So there's the Scrama. Push it out with the thumb ramp. Put that back in. Here's the Puka 110. And then, like I said, on the back, you have a couple beaner clips there with the molly on the back of the sheath, which fits the Leatherman OHT. So, like I said, this isn't a permanent solution to anything. Um, it's just something that I thought was kind of neat, and I thought I'd share it with you. Just, you know, some random stuff that you could probably do with the gear that you have at home. So, if you want multiple tools all together at the exact same time to throw in your truck, throw in a kit, whatever, it's kind of neat. So, I thought I'd share it with you. So, all right, so there you have it. Here's my take on the Baldrick style um, rig here with my Bruce Delica knives and my Leatherman. Um, like I said, I had to cut it out, but um, if you have some stuff at home, feel free to just throw it together if you can make something work like this. It's pretty neat and like I said before, you can throw it in your truck or your car, keep it in a bag, keep it in your basement, gear room, whatever. And you have a few pieces of kit that you love and that you need, bam, they're all together in one package. Like I said, you can put a strap on here and carry it actual Baldrick style, but this is just something to kind of keep these tools together so I always know where they are and they're always together. So. If this is something you liked, feel free to give it a thumbs up. Um, and if you haven't already, go ahead and click that subscribe button below. Uh, and stay tuned for another video because we'll see you on the next one. Thanks. It's so hot, but I need to make a fire. <sighs> Did you guys see that? Get it on your first try, do you?
Oh, it does not want to stay going. It is humid. Well, if you're still watching this, be sure to check out the other two videos. I'm going to link them either here, here, or down in the description if I can't figure out how to put them here and here. Uh, so, they'll probably be down there. Just go down there. That's where they're at. And the bugs are horrible. They're horrible. So, watch the other video. Got nothing to lose. Are you still here? Watch the other video. It's up here. Or over here. Or down there. <laughs>